I'm gonna start a series. It's just a series of story terms. I got a little cold, so excuse me, but we're gonna call it the Frat House Chronicles. Because this frat house, it wasn't necessarily, it wasn't a frat house, well, it was a frat house, but it wasn't like a frat house. I'm a real one. You know, at like a real big college. No, it wasn't. But this was our version of a frat house. The whole bunch of story pants. Okay, y'all gonna like me, y'all gonna like me. So listen, this time we're gonna talk about my first time at the frat house. Because I got a whole list of stuff, you know. And I tell y'all, I wrote a whole list of stuff I wanted to tell people because my life just be like, that juicy. Come on now. I got story times for you all. So, what is your cup? Drink with me. Now, let's have the because there was so much stuff going on. There was always so much stuff. Always so much stuff. Always something going on with at this house. And I promise you that some of the people that was ever there are going to know exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, that was either 21 or 22. This was like a couple days before my birthday. My birthday is June 26th, right? My birthday is around the corner. And I started hanging with this girl because I don't have no friends, you know. I don't have no friends. I just didn't have no friends. I was really popular in high school and stuff, but like I had no friends during like after high school and college, you know, everybody started falling off and like you just not cool with the fake people no more, right? So that's just what this vibe was. That's how it was coming in. So I didn't have no friends and I was like, it's my birthday week. I just like to celebrate the whole week. So I'm like, y'all try that tie that so bad. And I'm like, I don't have no friends though. So what am I gonna do? I'm like, ooh, let me, you know, just get on Facebook. And when I got on Facebook and I ran into this girl that I had met somewhere, I forgot. Conveniently, she lived right behind where I was staying. I was still staying with my mom. I had moved back to my mom at this time. I'm like, okay, I'm about to go. I go over to her house. And we started kicking it and drinking. And this was like a weekend before my birthday. So let's say my birthday was on like a Thursday or Friday. Let's say like it was on Thursday. I probably went to her house at like on like Sunday, the week before my birthday. I get there, we just chilling. I didn't really hang out with her before, but she had a cousin that I went to school with. So I was like, ooh, okay, wait, we're going to call this girl. We're going to call her Tiffany because she's not really in a story like that. But her cousin is Taisha. We're gonna call her Taisha, right? Nah, we gonna call Taisha, cause Taisha, yeah. We gonna call her Sarah. Yeah, we gonna call her Sarah. Okay, so Sarah was at, so I go to Tiffany, Tiffany house behind my, uh, where my mom was staying at. So I go to, she lived right behind my mom's at the time. So I went over there and I was like, oh, hey, boo, whatever. You know, my birthday week, let's turn up. I don't really know. I got no friends, so let's just kick it. Okay, so we just started drinking, and then later on, Sarah ended up popping up over there and was like, Hey, what's up, doing? And I was like, Hey, girl, I never talked to her, but we knew each other in school. We knew each other's whole family, but we never really kicked it like that. You know, like we never really hung out. So it was like just super chill vibe when she came around. But we started drinking or whatever. So we drinking, we make it to, she was like, oh, there's this party down the street. And I was like, oh, let's go. Like, okay, let's go. Say, so we lit. And she was like, okay, great. Right down the street, though. Right down the street. So when I say down the street, it was down the street. We could have walked. But we took that um, over there. We actually took Uber back and forth. We don't talk to the doctor about that. And literally, okay, so anyway, we take the Uber down to the party after we got a little tipsy or whatever. Me, Tiffany, and Sarah go down to the party. And I ain't never been to this place. I've never been like it, for it to be so close to where like I reside at the time and for me not to ever know about this place and it was like this place was always here popping like this like why I never know I drove past this place all the time so okay whatever anyway I'm like this place is too popular who wants to do it who lives here so I walk in there I was like oh this place this party was lit when I tell you lit it was lit like where this been at my whole life. Like, I, this was my part of day. So we get there and it's like packing. It's people in every room. It's like six rooms in here. I've never seen this place. I'm like, what is this? Who is all these people? Why that? I've never seen this many people in my city like in one spot like this. Just you know, with nobody, it's not getting shut down. Like, oh my gosh, this place is just too late. And I'm like, who is the owner? Where is the owner of this house? Who owns this house? Like, I they were like, okay, I'm gonna introduce you to the owner, but like they always busy, so we're gonna call the owner Josh. So Josh, they was like, oh, this is Josh. And I was like, oh, okay, nice to meet you, Josh. This is your house. Like, who do you know all these people? And then he was like, who it was was just a shocker of that. That this is the person that owns this house. 
It's just really, I can't really say too many details because it's just going to give the, this person away. And it's just like, really? This person that owns this house, right? Okay, okay. Very odd, very odd, very odd place, very odd place. But anyway, this is the first house. So anyway, I was like, okay, cool, I met the owner. I started running into people I know. Everybody just, I'm just bumping into everybody, like, oh my God. Okay, anyway, first time I'm sure I have time the owner, and then boom, we go on to the next. Then I go down to the basement. As soon as you walk in, it's people, like five people right there at the entrance. And then you go up the stairs, and it's like 20 people right there. And then this house is just big, and I was like, damn, there's a pole in the back. Like, this is like rich white people, like, who always wanted to go to these type of parties. You know what I'm saying? It was just like rich white people folk, like white people party. But it wasn't no white people. So it was like, this is what made it so odd. Because it was like, it was a rich white folks house. Where all um, like you know rich kids in high school, they used to have all these big old parties, but you were never really invited to because you were black. Yeah, we were going to those parties. So I was like, it's late. Finally <laughs> really got invited to a party that was like this. Okay, so I'm in there like in there like swimwear, no swimwear, but I'm in there like swimwear. I'm like, okay, cool. Wait, going on. And I was like, it was just people. Like, you go in one room and there was 20 people in there. And then you go in another room and there was like 20 people in there. And then you might walk in on somebody doing something that they're not supposed to be doing. But, you know, everybody grown, everybody over 18 in there. So it's like, I guess they're doing it. And then the owner, I was just like, the way that I just greeted, I mean, you greeted me. I mean, you don't even know these people. So, like, they just do whatever they want to do in your crib. I'm just like, hey, I'm here for a party because my birthday week, it is my birthday week, and I'm trying to have some fun. I go up to, I mean, we went upstairs, and you just see people drinking everywhere. Like, he's provided everything. There's everything here. It's like drinks over here in the corner. It's, you know, if you smoke, you got a little smoke section over there. And then downstairs, like, pool table you got some uh the bar it was just something everywhere and i was like what is this and then i was like this just it's just not it it's not it i'm like let me go hop my way i'm just meeting more people because like i said i knew a lot of people all the time like people always knew me people always knew me but i didn't have no friends like you know it was no real one you know that stuck around like you know what i'm saying you know you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying Okay, so the next morning, let's talk about the next day. It was just a whole bunch of partying that night. We gonna say like, nah, man. Nobody went home. Nobody left. If they left, they came right back. And I was like, when is the owner gonna, when is Josh gonna kick everybody out? And Josh gonna kick everybody out? If they went home, they came right back. And I was like, why y'all coming right back? You just left. You just came on another outfit. And I was like, well, I ain't leave because it's my birthday weekend. But I know it's not everybody's birthday weekend. What's going on here? Why oh, everybody still here? Nobody go home. Why everybody go home here? Yeah. Okay, anyway, I'm just like, oh y'all lit lit over here. Okay. I'm like, oh y'all too lit. And this was my super lit days, y'all. So like, I felt I felt included or something. I was like, oh. <laughs> Somebody invited me to that party. It is don't not end. I used to be the one that turned that post on the party, right? I was not the one, and this party was more late than mine. And I was like, I ain't never know about this. This low tab but The days they come, they went home. Like I said, they came right back, and they was there. They was there kicking it, still drinking, still. And I was like. Okay, this place just don't ever end. So I go home and we're you gonna know, skip to my birthday because after I actually went to this friend house this first time, it was just like a non ending party that was just like, this man ain't gonna never kick nobody out. Nobody gonna ever really go home on their own time. And he don't seem like he's the kind of guy that like, y'all out, make y'all go home. So I'm wondering when everybody's gonna go home. So I'm kind of sticking around to see when everybody else is going home. Then I'm like, I'm going home, I'm changing, I'm doing all that I gotta do. But I come right back because I ain't got nothing else to do anyway. And it was like, where do you think it was jobs and stuff? So I was like, I'm, I'm going home, I'm mad at my business. I'm mad at my business. Yeah. I can't be mad at nobody else's business. See, see why they ain't working on that. I ain't got time for that. I'm just like, I'm not my business. I was invited here. Ain't nobody really going home. And then the same person that I came here with, I left to go home. And she just keeps, she was messaging me like, girl, you want to go? And I was like, I really didn't plan on it. But I mean, now that she asked, <laughs> should I give her? And she was just like, yes, girl. And I was like, okay, okay. Come and get me, even though we down the road. Let's go down the road. So <laughs> I will, we meet up. I go to her place. And then we go to this place. And I was like, oh, I'm sorry. 
Yeah, I live in a little home. This is day for my birthday. And I get to the group of obviously. And nobody is still, like, it's still, like, a whole bunch of people there. Whenever you come back, it's always a whole bunch of people there. It's always some tea going on. It's always something. My birthday is around the corner, so I'm getting lit every day, like, for, like, the whole week of my birthday. It's lit time. It's lit party time. Let's get it. Let's what's good, what's smooth, what are we doing, how are we celebrating now. So, when I was going over there, I wasn't asking too many questions because there was always people over there and I was just like, this is the party. Like, girl, I don't even have to throw my own party. I don't have to do nothing. I just gotta go down the road. So I was like, go down the road. And this way. So, day before my birthday. Nobody really even, let me they know me, but I ain't mess with nobody. So they didn't really know it was my birthday. And I was just like, it's my birthday, you know? Like, that was my excuse for being there. What's yours? I get super drunk day before my birthday, on my birthday, at 12 o'clock. It was like, blackout, don't know what happened. I don't think too much happened. I think I went out, we went to the club, and we came back, because there was an the party there, and all of the the parties was always over there. And the frat house was just a frat house, and that's just where everybody ended up. I was like, hey, this is where my birthday party is gonna be, and I'm gonna catch y'all at the after party. Everybody came to the after party, it was lit, it was turned. Then I ended up outside, and I was like, this I ended up out here. I was super duper drunk, and I realized on the stairs at 7 o'clock in the morning, probably like, like 6 o'clock in the morning, I was sitting on the stairs in the front, and I was just like, I think it's my birthday. And I just kind of walked all the way rolling home, rolling my way home. As soon as I entered the door, I just remember saying, call the ambulance, and boom, I was on the floor, face first. Head down. I just remember like ambulance beating on my chest like I was a or something. And I woke up like my chest hurts. And I was like, dude, I feel like I have a, like a bruise on my chest. Apparently I left my phone in there because my friend uh, Sarah ended up messaging me on Facebook and I was just like, hey, what's up? And she was like, I was like, hey, well, where are you at? What are you doing? I woke up in the hospital and I was just like, I don't remember how I got here. I don't remember, but it's my birthday, so like, I don't know. I think I, I, I definitely remember telling the doctors it's my birthday. She messaged me like, hey girl, I have your phone. And I was like, okay, I'll be back in 10 minutes. She was like, oh, I'm still all right here. And I was like, I gotta go back over there. I leave the hospital. I have this wristband on. I go home, change, shower, forgot to really take the wristband off, get to the house to pick up my phone. And a lot of this people are still there. And it's like, why are you guys still here? When does anybody go home? Does anybody change here? Does anybody brush your teeth? Does anybody like leave the seat? Does anybody go and leave and then come back and like recuperate? Like go and take a nap? Or like do something else and then come back? What is this place? Never ending candy land? Like come on. So I get there, pick up my phone, and I'm like, I even asked my friend, like the one that I went to high school with, Sarah. And I was like, Sarah, girl, you ain't no home yet? And she was like, Nah, man. Not a fly. Fly, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Why nobody go home? Ain't nobody got nowhere to go. I was like, don't nobody got nowhere to go. Or like, nobody got no home. Or like, y'all just really like the party. I'm like, this is what's going on here. Don't nobody go home. The party is never ending. And this just seems like a friend. And Josh ain't telling nobody to go home yet. Josh ain't even said her, like, that's not, not a word to me. I don't even think I saved Josh in his own house. I was like, okay, so Josh lit. First of all, he got all these people in his house. In this big old house. Anyway, somebody was thrown out outside. There was somebody in the back doing it by the pool. It was everybody drinking. It was just like a never ending party. Never really ending party. The way that it was just going on, I was just like, just a really fun little party. For my birthday, I passed out, went to the hospital, went back. I said, this was still my birthday, girl. My birthday was really just started after I went to the hospital. And I went home and I put my birthday outfit on. Because I was like, Psh, I'm not going to sit in no hospital for my birthday, girl. Wake up. Wake up out of it. What you going to do? So, what I do? I went home and I got dressed and I went back to the frat. Because the frat house was where the party was at right now. And I knew the party was still going on there. And I was like, my phone's still here, so um, I'm gonna catch y'all at the frat. So I get to the frat house and I'm just like, this story is weird. And it is off. And I don't know where it's going, but I'm gonna just talk. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe. This is a very random video. I don't know what it was about. I hope y'all liked it. I will figure out when to upload. Hopefully you guys watch, comment, like, subscribe. Let me know what you think, whatever, everything else. And don't forget to tune into the next video.
video. Thank you and